Hi there, my name is Andreas and I'm one of the co-founders of the Brilliant Microschools. We are a virtual collective of small schools led by teachers with certification and special education experience. Uh, we're mixed aged classrooms, uh, mastery based, um, and we cater to students with learning differences. I would definitely recommend that other school owners talk to Tobin about AI. So before founding this school with my brother, my brother and I led uh, a, an agency that worked with a thousand schools and I've met a lot of school leaders. I think Tobin is has a perfect demeanor and the perfect way to uh, explain and coach you on AI. He also has an amazing appetite for learning new things. He discovers all the new apps, uses them personally for his school, for his personal life, and has a way to explain everything in a very simple way and also a practical way. So he's the perfect person to talk to you and explain to you how these new tools are going to be helpful for your everyday life. So I'm um, a strong user of AI and our entire school is a strong user of AI. So we're using it intensely in teacher workflows like curriculum design or lesson planning. And we're also starting to introduce it to students. So we're very optimistic about what AI enables, how it helps personalization, scaffolding and more. But we're also very cautious. Um, we're cautious that we don't want to deprive our students of the productive struggle of persisting in their endeavors, you know, their writing skills, rewriting, all these things. So we're really, you know, trying to find the right workflows for that. Um, so I was very positive and active with AI before meeting Tobin. But now what I see is there is a community of schools that is facing the same questions and exploring the same areas as I. So before it was more of a solitary pursuit or at least you know within the confines of our school and now with tobin this has changed into a collective pursuit so ai is here whether we like it or not and the generation of kids that we are teaching the, they are going to be the one that bring out ai's negative side or its positive side so we have a very serious responsibility to to help our kids explore ai in a bet in a better and an ethical way and you know it is up to us to channel ai and, and get all the positives out of it it's hard for me to just uh, talk about one thing um, uh, about uh, how it was working with tobin i'd say um, he's very knowledgeable and has a, an intense thirst for knowledge about anything that he's teaching you or talking to you about you can see he has spent hours before he he mentions a, a thing uh, researching it, using it with his students, with himself. So he's not a theoretical teacher. He is a, a practitioner and that comes out and it's very um, helpful because he, he has explored different things. Um, he's also uh, curious. So if questions arise in a, in a session where you know, new, new avenues of thought are opened up, he will then go ahead and go do down those rabbit holes and explore those questions as well. He's also very structured and very active. So he has frameworks, he, he sends emails, which are structured with resources, but also guides your, your thinking. So it's, it's helpful, it's easy to work with Tobin and to explore these rather new uh, and exciting areas, but also connect those with you know, practical real uses, because it's always through a practical routine that you can start really using a thing. And that's something Tobin uh, always provides. So AI is here, whether we like it or not. Um, it's in our classrooms, it's coming, students are using it. So we have two choices. We either uh, become rather negative, passive, just try to police our classrooms, push AI out of them and underserve our students in the process because they will not have access to this new uh, technology, which they are gonna be using in their lives. So they won't be prepared. They'll be sneaking it into their essays, into their work. So this is going to be a kind of a negative uh, classroom atmosphere or we embrace it, we leverage it. There's a nuance in there. So it's not just AI for everything. We need to kind of do it in a careful way, but this would transform our classroom. This would make learning deeper and our job easier at the same time. Now, obviously I'm in favor of the second. I think it's the only way, otherwise your classroom will be left behind. But I think it's very hard to do alone, even if you're very, tech enabled tech savvy as a school um, it's a very challenging thing and things are moving so fast 
I think it's important to have someone like Tobin, who is uh, a pioneer in the field, a practitioner, but also the community. So I personally feel very confident with AI, but I think the community of many schools, different types of learners, working together, trying new things is huge value in that. This is a big, big shift and we need to look at it together, critically think about it and really find the best workflows and solutions. And it's hard to do that alone. I personally think AI is going to dramatically change education. It's completely changing the role of the teacher. It's completely personalizing the experience for the learner. Um, for a long time, I've been anxious that we're competing with the likes of Netflix and Roblox and all these uh, the YouTube and TikTok videos that are grabbing our students' attention. And now I feel confident that we can comp we are competing with these things, but we can compete with them. We can craft learning experiences that are completely targeting the, our students' interests in a very personalized way, whether it's Harry Potter, dinosaurs, uh, locomotives, history, the future, uh, technologies, science fiction, anything at all. We can connect those things to kind of learning outcomes and standards and deeper learning and projects. And that's thanks to AI. And in the same time, we can make our jobs easier, no longer being in the front of the classroom lecturing, but being the guide on the side or the coach um, and really just enabling these, these learning experiences to happen. And AI makes that so much easier if used correctly. So anything that um, kind of enables that for more schools is a huge plus for me.